Hey everybody, so today we're going to make a tier list of the new Gen 9 Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Now very quickly, I haven't actually played the games myself, but I have looked at all of the 2D sprites, the 3D models, and their typings. Um, I haven't really looked at their lore or like PvP or strength or anything like that, so this is going to be more of a design tier list. But let's go ahead and get started right away with the starters. Now, I can for sure say that the first evolution or the first stage starters are really really good i think they they started off real hot and kind of took a nosedive after um, but let's kind of go one by one for i hate saying this but the grass of pokemon this time around is actually my favorite i'm always a water guy but i think grass took the cake so i'm gonna go ahead and stick the first stage over at a i think they could have done slightly better with the second evolution i'm gonna go ahead and stick that at a c and we're coming off hot. I'm actually gonna stick the third evolution at S right away. I think I think it's a cool design. I think it's a cool typing. I think they did a really good job with the grass starter this time around. I'm just gonna be honest. The other starters aren't gonna get the same treatment though. Um, I think once again with the fire starter, they started off hot. And they this is the biggest nosedive in my opinion. I'm going to stick this as the E. I think that is a weird looking Pokemon. You could tell it's its evolution, but I just think they, like out of all the things you can do, this is what you decided to do, really. Give it like a sombrero or something. And then they took, they kind of came back up with this last evolution. I don't think it's, I think it's a B. I think it's 2D Sprite is worse than it's 3D model. When I saw it's 3D model, I'm like, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. It's still not my favorite though, so I'm gonna stick it at a B. Then the water starter is actually my least favorite, which is again horrible to say considering I my favorite Pokemon's a water type. I always start with the water types. This time around, started off strong. Let's go and put that in A. But kinda came out a little weaker. I think that one's a D. I think this one's also a D. I'm just not a huge fan. I like the coloring and the design's alright, but eh. Now Moving over to kind of the more common Pokemon, I'm actually kind of a fan of the pig design. I, yeah, I, I don't know how other people feel, but I'm going to go ahead and stick this at, I'm going to stick this at a B. I think it's a solid, you know, common Pokemon. Now, I don't know why they decided to make its evolution a Karen pig, an emo Karen pig, but let's go ahead and stick it at a D. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. I think they could have done something really cool, like a wild boar design, Said so they went with Karen pig. Eh. Um, next, whatever this monstrosity is that they decided to do with Dunsparce, basically just not even change it. I'm gonna stick this at a- no, you don't deserve an F. <laughs> you don't even deserve F. You deserve a- why would you do this to me? Um, not gonna talk more, just they didn't do anything with it. It's boring. It was already a dumb Pokemon, they just didn't make it any cooler, which is a shame. Um, next up we come to a couple of the bugs, and I'm actually not a huge fan of bug Pokemon in general, not even because they're weak. I don't like bugs in real life, why would I like bugs in <laughs> Pokemon? Um, but I think they came out with some strong second evolutions. I'm gonna stick this at an E, but I'm gonna stick its second evolution over at a B. And then I think I'm gonna go with a D on this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to a, I'm gonna put both at B. I think the, the bugs are not that bad. Some of, probably one, one of them even deserves an A, but and then the, the dung beetle. I'm gonna stick that at a C, and I'm gonna put its evolution at a D. I'm just not, I'm not a fan of the second one. I don't know why. We're gonna go ahead and put the dog at an A. I'm a little less of a fan of its second evolution. I think once again, it's another, they could have done maybe a little more. They just made it slightly bigger and instead of a candle has a tombstone. I'm like, yeah, you really, that's all you did? I'm going to stick it at a D. So, this is basically the Cleopatra bird or flamingo. I am actually... I, I like this first one. I'm going to put that at a B. And then I'm going to stick it second one. I'm actually going to stick it at an A. I, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people would have it that high, but I actually... I kind of like that design. Girafferig, I'm gonna go ahead and, st or the, whatever it's called now, I don't know what, what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it at an F. I've never been a fan of that design in general. And I think they just made it worse. They didn't even make it any better. Um, let's go ahead and turn it down, maybe that music. Okay, this is back, we're gonna, we're gonna have a couple down. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stick that at an F, and that's almost an maybe a Y tier. But I'm gonna leave it at an F and just give it. I don't know why they did that. We already have Doduo, man. Not Dodo. Yeah, Doug, Doug, Doduo and Doug Shio. Why'd you do that, bro? But to be fair, I do like its second evolution, the dark rock with the pink and then coming out of the sides. I think mean, that's cool. Yeah, you know what? You can go in a C tier. Um, big whale C tier. This fish B tier. I think I really like it when they kind of spice up some of the fish Pokemon when they're they give them like a little bit of a strong flavor. You know what I'm saying? This has like edges and a little pop of color with that pink. I'm a fan. I like that. I mean, not my favorite, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick both of the dolphins over at A tier. It's kind of a cop out. I really, I just really like dolphins. I think as far as their design, you know what? No, their design is a B tier. Just because I like dolphins doesn't give me the right to put an A. It's a fairly basic and lackluster design, but it's just a cool animal. So I'm gonna stick it at a B. This I'm gonna go ahead and stick at a E. I'm gonna stick this at a C. You know, both of these are gonna go to a C. I'm I like these two a lot better than the first evolution. I think this is quite plain, like a weird fatter bell sprout. This. I don't know, why does that look so weird? I'm gonna stick that at a D. And I think I'm gonna put its evolution at a C. This, kind of the same... Same, kind of the same story. I'm gonna stick this at a C, because it doesn't bother me as much as this one does. Oddly enough, I really like this Pokemon, and I don't know why. I'm not usually a fan of Pokemon that are colored and shaped that way. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that at an A. Next... I'm usually a big fan of machinery Pokemon, so I think this deserves probably a little higher on the list. I think I'm going to put this at a D, and I'm going to think I'm going to put this at a C. I think that's fair. Ortho Worm, I think that's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's a C tier. This, I don't understand. It's a really cute Pokemon, but I don't know why they made it just... When you evolve, you now have a child or a smaller version of you. So, why don't we just go ahead and put this at a C tier, and this at a B tier. This, um, I really like the first evolution, but I think it dropped down a few levels with this back to C. I don't, again, could have been really cool, I'm not sure what happened. Um, let's go ahead and put this at D, this at B. Or that, that at C and this at B. I think that's fair. Is that the pseudo for this? Is that a pseudo for this generation? I think it's cool. Not the worst thing on the planet. I'm not a fan of Pokemon with small heads. And this one has a really small head for some reason. This can go down to E tier. This is actually going to go up to A tier. I really like this design. Um, This is... this is let's See, this is one of the weird exceptions where... I really like the design quite a bit, but the progression between the stages is just so awkward. So I'm going to go ahead and put this at a B. I'm going to put this at an D just because of the sheer lack of progression between these two. But the final, I'm actually going to stick an S. I like that Pokemon quite a bit. So yeah, I think that's fair. The bird, I'm going to go put that at C, but I do like its evolution quite a bit. And I'm actually going to stick its evolution over at A. And then we swoop back down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the stork Pokemon over at C. The parrot, I'm going to put over at D. Flamingo, I'm going to go ahead and put it at F. Again, why? That's such a weird... You didn't do anything. You just copied a real-life animal, bro. And then even if you copied a real-life animal like the dolphin, you literally named it... Flamingo? You just removed an end, bro. That's not it's not a Pokemon. But next up, another animal Pokemon, which is very similar to the one in real life, but I'm gonna actually stick this one at A. I like the crap Pokemon. Um next up we're on to Minecraft. Um I'm gonna stick this one at E. This one at D. And I'm gonna put this one at B. I like its final evolution quite a bit. This is gonna be another It's gonna put this at I don't know what this is. I don't like this. I'm going to put this at a Y and this at an F. 
this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it at E again. But I like its bigger evolution. Let's go ahead and put that at B. I like both dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and stick both of those at B. I'm gonna put this one at C because it has a funny looking face, but nothing much else going for it. And it's second evolution over at D, which I know a lot of people are gonna get mad at that, but whatever, it's my video. Um, I'm gonna stick this at D. I'm gonna stick both at D or C, sorry. I think they're it's a cool design, but that's about it. Not spectacular. You know what? This will move to B. I think that deserves a B at least. I think it's a it's a very much more unique design comparatively to many of these. I don't think it deserves a C. The chest Pokemon. I'm gonna put that at B. I'm gonna put its weird gold cowboy at C. Okay, now we get into a lot of like the weird Pokemon, the like the iron versions and the, the ancient versions. Again, I haven't played the game. I'm just gonna based off the based off the design here. Oh, okay. We have to have a couple more in the lower rankings, so we're gonna go ahead and um, let's put Domfan, the well the, the the iron version. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over at C. I'm gonna put go ahead and put this at E. I think the this can be a, probably a D. C. B. Mm, C. I really like Mischievous, but it's basically really similar to its other version. So eh. I'm gonna put this over at C. Now Salamence is going to go over to probably A, because Salamence, this can go to C, well Corona over to S tier, I I love well Corona, what, and, they, and they made it a metal metal bug, dude, sign me up, alright, Hariyama, metal version, C, this one I'm probably going to get maybe roasted in the comments, I'll put this at D. I don't know. Looks funny to me. Tyranitar A. Still looks a bit funny, but at least it's Tyranitar. <laughs> Metal Santa. Put it at D. Metal... Is that Metal Glade or Gardevoir? I don't know, but I'm going to put it at B. Put this at D. I'm going to put this at B. I like that a little bit more. I'm going to put this at... Mm, let's put, go ahead and put it at D. Our next S Pokemon, I don't know why I like it so much. I just, I think it's a really simple, nice design. One of my favorite fish by far. Then the two legendaries. Mm. Just to not be, I'm going to put both of them at B. I think they're slightly over designed. I think that's my only critique of them. Then the Tinkaton line. I'm going to put this at... E, D, now let's go ahead and put the last evolution over at S. I think it's slightly over designed, so it's definitely the lowest S. Of these, it's definitely the lowest S. Now, I think these are like some of the box art Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put this at a C. I'm going to put both of its brothers over at A, or sisters, I don't know. I'm going to go put those at A. The land version of Tentacool. Let's go ahead and put this at a D or yeah D, and the evolution over at C. Oh, I love me some Bisharp. So yes, A. <laughs> Our third Y Pokemon, and an Ilape, ending off strong. Let's go put that on an A. And I think that's my tier list. I, I think this is a solid tier list actually. Tell me if you got how you guys disagree or agree, but um, I don't think I would make any more changes, and it looks like a pretty nice bell curve. Maybe the A is A is more than it should be, but that's just because of the starters, really. And I can't really. I think this is fair. I think maybe these two legendaries could be slightly higher. Hmm. Maybe the these two, one of these two could be slightly higher, but. This maybe could be higher or it could be lower. Yeah, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of my tier list. I think this is a pretty fair tier list. Um, again, maybe the dog could be higher. Maybe maybe I'm going a little too harsh on the water starter. I think maybe the final evolution could be maybe at C. 
I might even honestly maybe if I were to start from the beginning maybe I'd move this up to C maybe move this up to C I think I was maybe a little mean on those but I think the rest are probably where they should be so clearly my favorites are the top and then a lot of these is probably what I would use in my team but then again, there's a lot of like older Pokemon in there too that I'd probably choose much over any of these. But anyway, that's my tier list, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what yours looks like. I'll put a, actually I'll put a link to this tier list in the in the description. If you want to do it yourself, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.